this little tool, what it's designed to do, my favorite, just export. Hey, let's take the definitions or, uh, from this file for all of the item types. So what it's going to do is take what you see here, and it's going to take all of these values, and it's going to put these into a spreadsheet that I then can go into, I could go into Excel, and then import that back in using these same tools. So rather than having to do the editing in here, which is fine, the editing in here is fine, but it is a little more efficient done in the Excel world. So anyway, there is an import and export that was added. Now, I mentioned to you the benefit of, you know, what's the benefit of having this item data? Well, here's what where the benefit is, is that if we were to look at uh, our reports, for example, I've got just two simple reports, one that runs everything on everything to do with drainage. And then I have one that just looks for piping. I'm going to run the one that looks for piping. And here's why it's important is that within one report, uh, for you guys that have worked with the reports, this literally is all it's doing is looking for the item types and automatically in that report, it will have all my properties about my piping, but it has length, cost, and weight. Again, why, you know, you might say, well, geez, that was the EC expressions that provided that. I could just do that, you know, with a line. What that would do is very much complicate your report. You then would have to add to your report another, oops, over here, uh, a related item and say a line. And then it would, you'd have to merge those two together. So this is a much faster, much more efficient way of doing it. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, okay, so one addition to update seven that I mentioned was things like Bing Maps. Uh, all right, so I mentioned to you there were two different um, you know, kind of criteria to be able to use this. One of them uh, was we have to make sure we have a um, geographic coordinate system. That's just number one. So I'm going to go to my utilities, I'm going to go to my coordinate system, and yes, I have one. So this file is set with a, uh, a geographic coordinate system. If it wasn't, I could use one of the tools here to go find the correct one and select it. I'm located here in Florida in the U.S. Uh, as long as I know my units are in feet, I pretty much have a one in three chance because all the ones you see here under Florida are all based on really three different, three different zones, Florida East. Florida West and Florida North, so I have a one in three chance. I know where it's at. I know the location of it, that it's going to be Florida East. So I have it selected. The other thing I want to make sure I have is that I'm signed in to the connection client. If I'm not signed in to the connection client, this won't work. So some of you have tried this. I know we've gotten some requests from folks saying, hey, I got a GCS, but I can't get, the, get it to appear. Check that you're signed in to the connection client. You don't have to be in a connected project. Uh, you don't have to have a project-wise share set up. It just signed into it. That's it. And if that's the case, then I should be able to come down here to the background maps and set this to one of the different options that are here. Set the transparency and just wait a second for it to update. And then there's my site. There's my hybrid map so I can see street names and so on. Isn't this great? Yeah, it is. But the one thing I'll keep in mind is that this is for viewing purposes, folks. You know, you can zoom in, you can see, oh, well, I didn't build with this. The proposed uh, site is in the middle of a swamp, but, uh, you know, I got some trees to remove. You know, quickly you could look at it, that type of thing. However, it's not meant for printing. If currently you use tools like Raster Manager to bring in aerial photos, you will continue to do that. This is not meant to be a replacement for that. Sure, at some point, we'd love to see printing involved in this. Uh, but for right now, you know, it's a visualization tool, folks. That's really what its use is. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.